Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Glad you could be here. Today, we have got a shop full, but not only that, we've got a 2008 GMC Sierra 3500 with the Duramax that has a door, a driver's door, that is in major need of repair. Originally, the customer wanted to put a new door on it, but uh, I think we're gonna be able to fix this thing we've got what we've got is this door sags like crazy if you can see here like it doesn't even and then you can it doesn't even latch hardly so and you can take this thing move it up and down the biggest problem is this door is actually broke right down here it's broke there as you can see and there as well Hopefully you can see all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this hinge off. We're gonna replace this hinge as well. And it's actually pulled out just a little bit from there, but we're not going to, I don't think we're gonna do anything with that. But I think what we can do is we can take, get ourselves a real thin piece of steel and we're going to weld that across this right here it's going to be like a flat piece i'm going to weld that in there that should get us uh, pretty close to where we need for this door to line up again then we're going to go ahead and replace this and the external door handle so we're going to get started on that stay tuned because this should be a very good video I forgot to mention the mileage on this truck, 432,039 miles. Hence the reason they don't want to put a new door on here. So we're going to go ahead, get started undoing this door. I need to get something to uh, hold this thing. And I'm hoping to not have to take that electrical off. If I do, not a big deal. This just uh, goes through here. We can undo that get this thing completely moved away from here and i might just go ahead and do that so that uh, we can get this hinge repair repaired and replaced we have got a new hinge assembly from gm and a new exterior door handle i didn't want to but i'm gonna get it from doorman we've got a new gm hinge and a striker plate so we're gonna get started on that uh, we've also got a somewhere here in my mess here we go we've got a glow plug to replace uh, since it's got that many miles he didn't want to go ahead and do all eight glow plugs I'm just gonna replace the one that's bad not generally how we do an order of business on that but the others, if it ain't broke, he doesn't want to fix it. So, let's get started on this. I think we're going to tackle the door first and then get started on that glow plug. That glow plug, as long as it comes out okay, shouldn't be a big deal. But I'm going to try to rig something up to get this door off of here and hold the door while I'm working on it. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do yet, but we'll figure something out. So... We'll get this thing removed and then I'll bring you guys back once I get it removed from the thing and get a mounting something figured out for the to hold the door. Okay, so we have gotten this unplugged here. You just squeeze down on those two right there. That pops right out of there. This wire comes around or loom comes around, comes right here and unplugs here. Just unplug it right there. And we'll get our trim tool here. Come on. Please. Please come off. There we go. That's off. Now this comes back in through here. Get some light on the subject. 
that comes in through there so let's go ahead get this fed around here so it can come off I want to take if I wasn't replacing the hinge I wouldn't uh, worry about taking all of this off like this but I mean if I was just replacing the hinge sorry if I get etc if I was just replacing the hinge I wouldn't worry about all this but since I'm repairing I'm gonna have to set you guys down here but like I said since I'm repairing the broken door I'm gonna need it off to be able to gain access to everything here so let's go ahead and we'll take these two bolts out of here Hopefully you guys can see that. Those are two 10 millimeter bolts, I believe. We'll just take those loose. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you guys my little contraption here. I welded this piece together, turned this thing upside down on my cherry picker there, and I've tried to kind of stabilize it there. I'm not sure if I did a very good job of it or not, but this has got a coating on it. It protects this. It keeps it away from this thing here so it doesn't, and this was broke already, so it doesn't break the rest. I put some cardboard in there. I think that should hold. We may have to make it a little more stable once we get it out of here, but I'm also gonna need to take this panel off to get to, I believe, I think I need to, to get to this door handle out here. So, yeah, uh, which we can do that when it's back on the truck. However, I want, yeah, to, in order to fix that, I'm gonna need to get this door completely off of here. So let's, let's get those bolts removed. These hinges will be a lot easier to uh, replace once we get the door off as well. So, but then we're gonna have to set everything so that the body lines line up and everything works as it's designed so then we're going to take top hinges the same way we're going to take that off so on the top hinge we're going to want to take we're going to want to take this the this one here off and we can just lift that thing right up off of there Oop. Wrong way, Jose. Okay. If it wasn't so far, I'd go get my power tools, but I don't want to walk all the way over there. bolt is out of there that has lots of loctite on it all right now i think there's a clip up here that i'm gonna need to take loose maybe not maybe that just sets up on there all right let's see if we can get this thing lifted off of here that's loose that thing still feels pretty solid i don't know maybe i'm gonna have to take it loose here but i was hoping not to have to take these two out might mean a little less adjustment that way but if I have to I'll take these two out of there it's not a big deal all right oh well, we've got it stabilized now we can uh, get this thing repaired uh, like I said originally I was going to put a flat piece of steel there I don't know if I can something in there and maybe I can pull that back out against the or out to where it's supposed to be and I might be able to repair it like that. So let's see what we can do. I don't think I have a, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a slide hammer. So I'm not sure. I think our flat piece of steel is probably still gonna be there, our better option here. We'll just put it up against there about the same place as that 
and it doesn't have to be real thick and then we'll just fill all this weld in that'll save us from having to beat around on that door try to get that bent out of there so let's go ahead i'm gonna fabricate me a flat piece of steel about probably an eighth inch thick and we'll put that right in there and then we'll be able to bolt our other hinge onto there actually we'll probably go ahead and bolt it onto here we'll take this one off bolt this onto here because it's going to be a lot easier to get to and then we'll uh, get that bolted up there so i'll get that piece of steel we'll get it drilled out where it fits there then we'll get that all welded up get this thing all stiffened up it'll be good as new then we'll go ahead and replace this and i think i'm going to do that while this is apart anyway because these key things can be a booger to get out of there so we're going to go ahead and replace that because i mean you can see it's really war so go ahead and replace that we'll get all this done this top one is fortunately still very tight so that's that's good but uh, yeah okay let's get that done and i'll be back once I get this thing welded on there, I'll be back. We'll, I'll show you what all I did. Well, it ain't gonna win no beauty contest, but it should hold. It's pretty solid. Grounded down a little flush here. Yeah, this should hold. That I think that'll be strong enough. So we've got our new hinge installed here, and uh, don't have anything set up or anything or set adjusted, tightened, and all that yet so we're gonna get this installed get this door put back over there and uh, let's see how everything is I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here then we'll we'll get everything bolted up and and see how it fits hopefully with that little added structure there that's going to bring that out enough that we don't have to do a lot of adjusting so um, I did warn the customer that it may not line up completely as far as body lines and he said at this point he doesn't care all he wants is to have this working properly so um, this is kind of his backup truck and he doesn't want to spend a ton of money on it so let's get this thing put back together let's get this replaced get this put back together and then we'll uh, see what we can get done for adjusting the body lines. We've got this hinge installed. Uh, I put it back, uh, since we're putting a GM hinge back on there, uh, OEM, I went ahead and just lined up all the marks. So that'll be our starting point. We can always adjust it after that. So let's get this thing replaced and we'll uh, see if we can get this door put back on. So I'll put you guys over here and hopefully show you guys. I mean, this is pretty simple to uh, replace, I'm thinking, hopefully. Torx bit, I'm not sure what size. We'll take a wild stab. T30 maybe, and a little loose. About a 40. Yeah, 40. T40 it is. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing loose. I've had these where they'll stick so hard you can't get them loose. It does not appear to be the case here. Now I think, I'm not sure, but I think that thing has something in there we don't want to drop that back plate there if I'm thinking correctly I think that is a moving plate in the rear there I'm not 100% sure yeah maybe not okay but yeah it is Yikes. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. And let's hope that that thing doesn't come loose. Or doesn't drop down. I thought, anyway, 
that that's the way they usually do it. My thoughts were correct. I was wrong because, or I was wrong because I thought I was wrong, but then I was right, I don't know, somehow. Okay, let's see here. See if I can get this thing moved back up there. Please, please, please do that for me. Magnet, let's get a magnet before that thing disappears. come over here no 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 please not you dumb okay I don't have I can't find my heavy duty this one's too heavy duty it won't go through there um can't find my other one here, fishy, fishy. Let's get this thing up there. Now, I want to go ahead and put this one bolt in here to restrain him. And then we can get the top one in there. Without fear of this thing going into the regions unknown there we go now we have brought this thing back from the brink of danger so let's get this thing in through here come on Okay, now let's get ourselves a good reference point here, which is where it was at prior, the old one. Obviously this is probably gonna take some more adjusting, but let's uh, go ahead and get this thing, really? Let's go ahead and get this thing bolt it up and that'll be a good reference point that's where we were at before Let's see right there I think is good kind of tighten this thing down let's get this thing I mean we're not gonna make it like extremely tight but it's uh, Get that there. That'll be solid enough. We can test it. Now, let's get our door fitted into there again. See if I can do this without damaging anything. If I was a professional, I'd go ahead and put tape right there so I don't scratch the door, but it's already all scratched up over here from the time that it uh, spent hitting prior. Okay, so let's get this thing moved over here. Well, that was simple enough. We just went ahead and strong arm picked the thing up and set it over there. So let's get this, see if I can get you guys at least a little bit of a view. But uh, we're gonna, we got this set down in there. Um, let's go ahead and bolt this up. There we go. There's one. There's two. Tighten this down and 
see if it gets us where we want to be or at least close to there Okay, okay, now let's go ahead and close this thing and see what we've got here. Okay, so that's, it's actually, the body lines are lining up, but I've got this a little too low, so let's go ahead and move our cherry picker out of the way let's go ahead and adjust this thing down just a hair okay now let's see what we've got here uh, it's still too wait <laughs> um, did I go the wrong way I don't know but it's it's too low I don't remember, I don't know. At this point, I don't know. Um, it's too low now, so we need to go up with this. Let's see if that's anywhere close. All right, not quite. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this thing and uh, Set you guys right here. We'll do this process over and over and over again until I get it right. Well, I've done the best I can in getting this door adjusted. I don't like how the body lines line up, but customer says send it. So it closes well. As we can see, it opens well. Yeah, but as you can see, it really needs to, this whole thing needs to come back because uh, it is pretty tight right there, but uh, customer says, go ahead. It's just, just a work truck. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this handle. Then we'll replace the glow plug and this truck will be ready to go back to work.